Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next video, and this is going to be the Town Hall 9 live base build. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking for 9.5 base builds, and honestly, I think that is something that I might consider doing at some point. My only reservation, though, is just that it's pretty much the same principle as a Town Hall 9 base. You just add an extra, I think, 25 walls or so. So it's not much different, and I don't think it's at least right now it's worth doing a base build because these are uh, they take time to do and i you know i think there's more town hall nines out there than there are town hall 9.5s so if you are a 9.5 watching this video be sure to just take a look at the ba at the base i make use those same principles uh, but just add those extra walls when you build your own base so yeah hopefully you guys still, can still get something from this video um, i'm not going to do an fc to follow this up because it takes a lot of time, and plus, I'm using my own account, so I can't uh, I can't friendly challenge unless I put all the buildings down, which would mess up the the friendly challenge attack. And I I didn't want to uh, take the time to find someone to let me use their account and go through all of those logistical things because I am on a bit of a schedule these days. So uh, that all being said, let's get into this base. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. It might be kind of a a crappy base, and if that's the case. Uh, I'm sorry, but hopefully you learned something from this video because I know a lot of you guys have been requesting and this is one of the, the viewer's favorite series that I do. Um, I put all the extra buildings at the bottom here. That should all be correct. I think I got rid of everything uh, that you have at Town Hall 10 that's relevant to this video. So uh, that all being done, I'm going to get the CC down right here. Um, I am going to try to defend against the main things, which are Valks. Uh, a lot of Laloons, so try to keep those air defenses in good positions. And also think about bowlers and bowler pathing for like Stoned Hobo and stuff like that. So I'm going to put the CC there. Um, from there, I think I'm going to just kind of get the Queen down. I'm going to put the Queen on the kind of the bottom part of the base. It's going to be kind of like the base you saw in the last base destruction video. I'm going to put a lot of cannons and stuff by her, so I have my air targeting stuff on the other side of the base. Uh, the stuff is going to be at one level above Town Hall 9, most of the defenses, so just kind of bear with me on that. Try to imagine them as Town Hall uh, 10 defenses, or Town Hall 9 defenses, even though they're Town Hall 10 level. So I'm going to put the Queen compartment there. Going to have the uh, air defense right back by the Queen. Um, let's see, what else can I do? I'm going to go ahead and put a few wizard towers in the core here. That'll be mainly what the core is made of. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw the core around like that. Um, that looks good. We'll put um, just a cannon inside the core as well. Put that over there. Archer tower down here. And then we'll just kind of uh, start filling things out around here. Uh, we'll make the queen uh, compartment like that. Actually move that one further out. Then I'm just going to add another compartment directly in front of her. Like that. And put a cannon and archer tower. And I'll put... Um, I'll probably put the town hall right in here. So I'll make this even one wider. And I'll put the town hall right there. Okay, that looks good. I'm just gonna kind of work my way around at this point now. Uh, just I guess I'll get the air defenses down. I'm gonna want an air defense there. Up like that, air defense over here. And probably one like over. I don't want to keep them too close together though, so I'm going to move this one a little bit further out. And it'll probably be set up somewhat like that. Um, I want to think about Valk pathing as well, so I gotta, you know, keep the compartments fairly small and really make them use jumps if they want to move their Valks throughout the base in any kind of uh, timely fashion. So their defenses, I can adjust those as I go, but that'll be basically what it looks like. I'll have another compartment that goes like, we'll do that, up like that, and down here, um, we'll do one like this, around this air defense, 
and over. And I want to have one of those expo uh, compartments that has the kind of the two tile buffer all around it. So I guess I can put that probably over right. Actually, I can maybe put it even right there. If I move that air defense somewhere else, I can have this. I think this is kind of an effective thing to do is have this expo compartment because the bowlers can't target it. It can really get some good value for you. And I might even put a test the farm in there. We'll see. So I'll move this air defense over to like this area around here. Maybe slide this guy down a little bit. I want to keep these air defenses somewhat separate to defend against, uh, you know, all the all the air attacks we see at Town Hall 9 right now because there's quite a few of them. Uh, let's put this uh, right like that. How many walls do I have left? Let's get a check on those. Okay, I'm pretty good on walls. Compartment there. Um, compartment up like this. And I think you still want to keep your expos on ground, at least one usually, uh, to defend Queen Walk and all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm going to keep that one in the middle there on ground. Um, go like that. You can slide that in there, that there, and just kind of work my way around the base. I can fill in with these extra like 12 walls where I need, but that looks like the basic design of the base, just kind of making this off the fly here. Um, I think it's a pretty good layout. The expo compartment should, I don't think the queen can reach that. No, she can't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she can't reach that. Uh, so that's good. None of the air defenses seem to be reachable. Just in case that one is, I'm, I'm never good at predicting the queen's range, but just want to make sure she can't reach the air defenses, not only for queen walks, but also, um, like not for air attacks, but also for just queen walks. You you want the air defenses to still be up so they can take out the healers as the queen makes her way around. So that's always good. Um, we can put some of these air sweepers in. I'm used to doing Town Hall 10 bases, but on these Town Hall 9 bases, uh, you want to get those air sweepers down earlier. I'm going to move that over one. Uh, we'll put an air sweeper, and I want to think about double giant bomb spots too, in case I want to do some of those. They're not as important as they used to be, but they're still very helpful against like hogs and stuff. So I'm going to put the air sweepers like that to uh, kind of push back anything that's coming this direction. As far as the hogs, um, I think I can actually have uh, effective type double giant bomb set if I do this. If I put a, let's say, an archer tower there, and um, just adjust this compartment like that, and maybe even move it out one over here just so I can fit stuff in there, um, like that. If I do that, I think that would be a good surprise double giant bomb spot, because I think sometimes people, uh, they expect them to be in the core and they're just using like surgical hogs usually on the base so if they come in with a few hogs from this area i should be able to get them blown up i'm going to put a mortar out here sorry about that i'm going to put a mortar out there um i guess i'll just put a storage here as a placeholder have a cannon here and we can even probably put uh, a cannon up here and that should be fine shouldn't be any issue there uh, with the pathing because they should come from the if especially if I put like another mortar up here They should come from out in that direction uh, and hit that cannon from the outer side around here So they won't trigger that double jump bomb set uh, from the short end. So that looks good. We'll put a storage right there um, As far as my other expo, I want to keep that guy kind of back um, Somewhere where I can Um other expo location let's put the other expo probably over here that is kind of close to the original one so I'm not sure if that's a good thing actually I might put it in the core that might be a more effective spot to put it just to get more coverage I am going to keep it on ground only also so that can kind of cover the other side of the base to a certain extent now I have this cannon freed up to put somewhere else um, we'll go ahead and throw an archer tower here 
uh, a cannon up here. We'll probably have two single bombs now, so we'll put one in that area. Uh, still have to think about the king as well. Typically like putting him either by the queen or on the other side of the base. Uh, but for the purpose of this, let's kind of keep him right here. Right by that air sweep or the air defense. And then let's throw a mortar out here. Um, and we can put a storage right in here. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I think he said something about Gazette. Um, sorry about the notification. Hope he doesn't keep texting. Uh, let's throw that there. And put like an archer tower right in here. Mortar there. Uh, storage, wizard tower, and last wizard tower up in here with another storage. This space is actually looking pretty good. I don't, I don't, I mean, we'll see how it, how, what you guys think in the comments, because some of you guys are much better Town Hall 9 base builders than I am, but I think this is a, a solid layout. My only concern is a queen charge maybe coming in here and getting my queen and two air defenses. So I have to kind of think about what I want to do to defend that possibility. I do have the extra walls, so I could actually do this. Um, if I move this up, I could go up here, over. And that's not going to fit, though. If I could borrow some walls for somewhere, I could close that off from... Yeah, let's see if I can borrow some walls. Um... Where do I have extra walls? I guess right here is an obvious spot. And the air defense still is far enough back. I think I can get away with, with making this one smaller. Yeah, I think that should be good. Um, and then I have enough walls. Okay, cool. So now that, that middle air defense is a lot more protected. I don't see any thing that's you know too much of an issue as far as air attacks go um, the air defenses seem to be spread out yeah that all looks good uh, I'll just throw down a storage probably right here and my other storage probably on this other side here just to defend the queen a little better um, I do have too many archer towers so I want to probably substitute in a few cannons uh, to balance that out so I'll probably change this archer tower for a cannon over here. That way, if they come for my queen during an air attack, they have a whole lot on the other side of the base. Uh, the last giant bomb, I want to put... Mm, let's put it right here in case a few hogs come through. That could be a, a possible spot. And then spring traps, let's get those guys going. Uh, we'll put, put some springs uh, they can get Valks too, let's keep that in mind, so Valk spots or Hog spots, either one. We'll put one here in case this, actually no, the mortar probably won't go down to Hogs or anything. Uh, let's put one right in there, one here, actually move that down one and put one behind the Archer Tower. Um. We can, sorry about that. I was texting that guy earlier about something else for school. Um, put one there and just for sake of time, let's just kind of get this other one down right here. I uh, don't want to, you know, make this video too long and waste too much time. Just the basic stuff for spring traps like that. Move that wall back. Um, uh, come on. I think that's a nice trick. You can use the erase mode to get out of those glitches and stuff. Um, seeking air mines. I'm not going to get too bold to try to take out a queen. So we'll just put them by the air defenses. Um, put one here. And then I'm not going to put one by the core, so we can double up on one of these air defenses. Uh, we'll put one... I guess right there. So that looks good. Um, we'll put a few skellies right around here to help defend the queen a little bit. And I guess we'll just throw one over here by this expo. 
in case they come from that direction. And then these traps we'll just put towards the outside, um, maybe catch some balloons as they come in. Do I have any defenses left? I do have the Teslas. I'll get the Teslas down soon. Uh, put that there and put one here. Okay, everything looks good. Do have the small bombs and the Teslas, so I'll get the Teslas down. And what I want to do is I want to have a Tesla farm right in this area, right like that, is what I'm thinking. Um, I can even throw some spring traps in here, so maybe move one of these over here. But I like the idea of a Tesla farm right in there by that expo. And this base probably looks way better than it is because the defenses are so high level. It's probably not that good. Um, and then I'll put this stuff in the core for like Valks or anything that comes inside the core. You can also use them to take out wall breakers, either one. Uh, I don't really have a preference. The trash buildings, I don't even know why I took out trash buildings uh, down here because I'm not using them anyway. But, you know, for your base, you put them around the outside as you just as you would normally. I think I took care of everything though. Uh, we do have one storage left, so I guess the location of that storage, probably by the king to defend him a little bit. He is kind of exposed, uh, but oh well. So hope you guys, hope this base helps. I know this isn't the smoothest base build. Uh, Town Hall 9 bases are never easy for me to build because it's been so long, but I think, you know, take a look at this, see what what kind of principles you like about this base, what things you don't like as much. Let me know in the comments and let your other uh, fellow viewers in the comments know what you think because I can't get to every comment these days. Um, it seems like there's so much, uh, so many comments and I just can't answer all of them. I do my best to go through when I have time. But if you can help out in the comments as well, that's always awesome answering someone else's question because sometimes you guys know, be know better than I do also. So be on the lookout for that in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, hope this base build helps for those of you Town Hall 9s and Town Hall 9.5s that have been asking for a 9.5 base build. And I might do a Town Hall 10, might do a Town Hall 9.5 um, sometime in the near future for the next base build. So just let me know what uh, base build you want to see next for what base. And I'll be sure to take a look at that in the comments. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.